I don't know how anyone could have taken us seriously. Telemark Ski Movie, Powder Horror, and the segments we put in our movies. We were not serious in any way, so if anyone thought we were, I don't know why. How serious is this? <laughs> Here, somebody hold my beer. I'm gonna do something stupid. I think I left my balls in there. Yeah. What? <laughs> Woo! These guys are all a bunch of boozers, and I think they smoke pot. <laughs> I never want to wax my balls. <laughs> just explodes all over your face. It's awesome. Canada's just the shit. I like Alaska. Getting naked and getting this hot tub with a bunch of other dudes. Avalanche! Peace out, biatch. Oh, that was epic. My name is Jonah Howell, former co-owner of Powder Horror Productions. Born and raised here in Salt Lake City, Utah. My family was pretty strict and into the church until my parents got divorced. I grew up Mormon. And after the divorce, religion wasn't as important, at least with my dad, who I lived with. Didn't really grow up skiing until the last year of uh, elementary school. But uh, me and my buddies would go ski every weekend. A group of us, none of us played any other sports. Top to bottom, no stopping from nine to four. We were mogul demons, even on powder days. Right after high school, took the summer off, just played, and then that uh, fall through the winter, I worked at a ski resort as a ski instructor and just really enjoyed it. I felt like I was the best skier on the mountain. And then my brother, Noah, started telemark skiing and going into the backcountry and started telling me about these cooler places we could go. I started telemark skiing just so I could go with them. I was terrible at it. And then we started bringing a camcorder. Four of us would go out and take turns skiing and passing the cameras around. And then at the end of the season, we'd sit around drinking beers and watching our whole season. It was, it was a light bulb for Noah, like, let's make a Telemark ski movie. We kind of laughed at him. And uh, that's kind of how it all started. One of those days, uh, our buddy just came down, just getting barreled with pow, and someone's like, here, powder whore. What the hell is a powder whore? So that was kind of what we called our group of buddies who went and skied, and that name just seemed like we had to call our production company that. If it had actually been a business decision, we would have never done it, because we definitely uh, paid some consequences for having that be our name. Shops wouldn't carry the DVDs, sponsors dropped out, women would say they'd never go to our movies because having the word whore in it, but it gave us uh, the freedom to show stuff in our movies that no one else would. The positive response and the confirmation that what we're doing was cool was amazing. We actually started getting sponsors and it was hilarious. We're excited to show people like, oh, you thought that movie was good? Like, we can do so much better. The sky was the limit for us. Everyone said our movies were relatable, that it was like watching them and their buddies go skiing, which is a nice thing for people to say other than they truly believed they could ski as good as these guys were filming, which I know they think they can, but I've been out in the backcountry skiing enough to see what the average backcountry skier actually skis like. And the guys we were filming with were amazing, talented guys out there. So we were doing just the Telemark ski movies, and it's like, we're getting older, we want to go deeper into the backcountry. Our tele gear was slowing us down. Let's go out with a split order. That sounds kind of fun, and let's go show more ski mountaineering stuff, because Noah had been really getting into big, burly lines where he wanted to be locked down with Alpine. Giving up the tele roots was sort of like when I left the church. You feel like you're betraying somebody. A little ashamed that you stopped doing it. There wasn't a lot of backlash though. We thought there would be a lot more. And for sure, we got the emails saying, I will never watch another one of your movies. You guys are sellouts. We didn't care. From the get-go of Powder Horde, Noah made it clear that this was not a business. He wanted to go have fun and ski. 
we held firm to that for a long time. And then I started wanting it to be more of a business because we actually were making money. And I could see that like, this could be our job. If it becomes work or business, he did not want to do it. Kind of became a, a little bit of a struggle between us. Going back and doing it over, I think I'd do it all the same way. It was such a blast. And we ended on a high note. I think our last movie was great. And uh, I think we survived because of the way we did it. Filming and skiing kind of killed skiing for me a little bit. When it's good, I want to go ski, as opposed to go film when it's good. Because I love skiing, I really do. 